guys, it's April again. I am just stopping in to talk to you guys about, I have some questions about things you should have on hand when you receive your dentures. Um, I will go ahead and show you that this denture bath, this brush, and this tiny tube of adhesive is what I left my dentist's office with. No cleaner, nothing. This is what the dentist gave me, and that's fine. So this guy I'm gonna use for traveling. Um, this is what I use to clean my dentures. This one's actually a sonic bath and it vibrates and it's supposed to clean the denture like crazy good and since I'm a germ nerd that works for me. Um, but I just keep the stain away over here and do that while I'm in the shower and then the poly dent I use every night and clean overnight with the poly dent for smokers. Um, so I bought this box that sits on my bathroom counter and it's got all my denture supplies in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this guy open and show you what we're looking at. So for E-Day, this is a lifesaver. Um, it's an antiseptic rinse for mouth sores. Within 24 hours of having your teeth removed and having your dentures placed, you will have sore spots. This is amazing. Um, another thing I picked up ahead of time was Benzodent. It is kind of like, if you've ever had an abscess tooth and you've tried clove oil, it smells and tastes just like clove oil, um, but it's like a way thicker viscosity, so you can apply it to a certain area and it will stay there for a while and it takes the sting right off of a sore spot. Um, another thing, post E-Day, I picked up one of these and it comes with some heads. It's like a Dremel, but for your nails. Um, if your dentures are too tall or rubbing in a certain spot and you feel comfortable removing some of that material yourself, um, this came in really handy for me early on. And now, look at my nails. <laughs> now I can use it for my nails because they're getting kind of rough. Um, I've had my second, my first reline today. And so that's not been like a real problem. I haven't needed to use this on my denture for quite a while. Um, and in fact, I was using it and then I would chicken out and get afraid and stop and then let my dentist do my adjustments. So, but this was a lifesaver. Um, you know, if you've got something that's kind of sharp or maybe too rigid, you can kind of take the, the edge off, um, with one of these. So I really appreciate this product. I think I got this at Target for like 14 bucks and it came with the little heads and it also will take any standard size, uh, Dremel head that you have, or maybe your spouse has or whatever laying around. Um, I bought ahead of time a denture brush. This one's a lot bigger than the one the dentist gave me and I can really get in there when I'm cleaning my teeth. I really like this big one versus the small one. So you might ask your dentist like what kind of uh, accessories you're gonna receive after you get your teeth because I did not get much. Um, I bought a few different types of adhesive. I bought the powder. Um, I like the powder. I bought these Seabond strips. I've not used these yet because I just haven't because I found something else that works for me. Um, your adhesive adventure is kind of going to be a trial by fire. So I wanted to have a little bit of everything. And then the dentist gave me a tube of gel. Um, I like the gel and I like this teeny tiny size because the small size means you can shove it in your purse or whatever. So you can actually order the trial size on Amazon and I did order a couple of these. So I've got some fix it in on me in case I have an issue. So I like that too. Um, I clean my denture every day with the stain away. Um, this, since I do have a partial, I can only use it for about 15 minutes. It's not okay for me to soak each night, but it keeps my dentures really clean and really bright and I appreciate that. Um, and what else? The cushion grip, obviously I have been using it. Um, this was a huge deal for me when I couldn't get to the dentist and I needed a reline. This was really nice to already have on hand and not have to wait around for Amazon or whatever to ship. Um, I've never seen this in a store. I've looked everywhere. Amazon is where I bought it and that's really helpful. Um, and then I've got my tabs and I just keep a few in this box. I've got the polydent for smokers because I do smoke even though that's gross. It's like 2021 who still smokes. Um, so anyway, this is what I put in the sonic bath to soak my denture in overnight. Um, 
what else? Oh, and then I picked up just a few. These are like cheap from the dollar store uh, washcloths because when I'm handling my denture over the sink, I'm really afraid that I'm going to drop my denture and it break in the sink. So I use this as kind of a mat or a pad. And then I picked up some whitening strips since I do have, um, and I really like these. These work really good and they're a lot cheaper than the white strips and they don't hurt my teeth. Um, so anyway, that's what's in my stash. You know what I use every day? The white strips I use about once a week. I use these every day when I clean my dentures. This is just lives in here. I don't use that every day. This I don't use every day. These I do use every day. This I do use every day. And um, this little brush that my dentist gave me, it would be great for traveling. But this is not something I use all the time or something I keep stored in this box usually. Um, the cushion grip, I just keep in here because it's easy to get to when I do need it. And then this is the rest of the Dremel, which also lives in there, and my denture brush. Um, so that's kind of my stash. I use every day the washcloths, the stain away, the poly dent. And then um, since I've got my reline, I'm not currently using adhesive, but my preferred that works best for me is the Fix-A-Dent Extra Hold Powder. Um, this I keep in my handbag just for good measure, and I keep one at home. Um, but for E-Day, the two most important things you're going to need is this Benzident for dental. It says pain relieving cream, um, but it's also for dentures and sore spots. This stuff is amazing. It's a lifesaver. And this or gel. The or gel was huge because um, you can just get it in your mouth, rinse it around. It's got uh, hydrogen peroxide in it and it's kind of an oral debris, kind of removes any oral debris you might have. Um, but I do like that. Now, let's see, this is going to get weird. Oh, are we upside right? No, we are upside down. Perfect. Um, so I'm doing this backwards in my mirror, which is super weird. Um, but the other things for each day that you need, you need the benzodiazepine, you need the or gel, that's going to be helpful. Um, another thing that is really useful is a fresh bottle of Tylenol, a fresh bottle of ibuprofen. Make sure you've got plenty of salt in your kitchen for doing salt water rinses for your mouth. And then also, um, there's one more thing. Oh, ice. Ice is your very, 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 very best friend. So they make like sling style ice packs. Um, I just used the little like gel ones that I put in my son's lunchbox. Um, and I just would sleep with one of those covering my mouth. I think the ice really helped with my smiling. But anytime I didn't feel great, I just put some ice on my face and it was all better. Um, if you can't get an ice pack, frozen vegetables work perfect, uh, peas, whatever you have. But for E-Day, for sure, on hand, you want the Benzet, the Orgel Mouth Rinse, plenty of salt, fresh Tylenol and ibuprofen because that stuff does expire. And, um, you know, ice, that's what you need um, to get you through the first couple of days with these things. Because my dentist had to keep them in for 72 hours. That was so hard <laughs> to keep them in, but it was doable. And the ice, the ice was huge. The ice was my very best friend. Um, now, the other stuff that I have, you can pick whatever cleaner you want, but you need something to soak your dentures in every day. Um, and you can pick whatever adhesive you want. Um, I got one of each. I have a gel, I have a powder, and I have the sea bond strips because I didn't know what was going to work best for me. And I really can't tell you what's going to work best for you because um, everybody's different. Um, and then the cushion grip is something you can get after you have your dentures because you're not going to shrink a ton immediately. I mean, it's going to be a week, maybe two. Um, but that really did tide me over until I can get my reline today. So that's just kind of what's in my big denture box of doom. I thought I would share that with you today. And um, if you guys have any questions or whatever, just let me know. Uh, but yeah, make sure you have a way to ice your face and make sure you have a way to stay comfortable. The benzene out in the Ordell or gel did amazing for me. So you guys have a peachy day and I'll see you guys soon.